Hi, today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use local notification. So just open up your Xcode and then um, create a new project. And then we'll use a single view application and I'm going to call this local notification tutorial. And we're going to use storyboard and we're going to use automatic reference counting. And the reason, and then just click create, the reason we want to use local notification is if like, for example, your app is not running, your app is not currently running in the foreground, you can still inform the user that um, something important is going to happen or like that you want to send a message at a certain date or time. You can do that with local notification even though your app is not currently running. So I'll show you how to do that. So in our main storyboard, um, I'm not going to have anything, but I'm going to change the background color to, to green. Okay. All right. And we're not really going to connect anything. And our view controllers, um, we're not going to do anything here. I'm going to do everything in my app delegate. So for now, let's, let's run our phone simulator and show you that um, nothing should be happening. Let me pull it back to this. All right, so here's our simulator. And for when we click on the home button, we, we exit our app and this is what our app looks like. So what you want is when we exit, some notification pops up saying something has happened. So there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to focus on this method in um, AppDelegate.m. I'm going to focus on application did enter background because this method gets called when your application goes to the background. So here I'm going to say um, UI local notification. UI local notification. I'm going to call this notification equals UI local notification alloc init. And then from there, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the notification alert body notification set alert body. I'm gonna say I'm your local app um, notification. All right, and now I'm gonna also set the fire date notification set fire date, and the fire date takes an NS date. So just say NS date. date with time interval since now I'll show you the first way so this way it's just as soon as your application enters the background when do you want the notification to pop up so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 10 so that's 10 seconds after the application enters the background that's when your notification will pop up and then I'm gonna say notification set time zone your time because I want to set it to my local time zone, so I'm going to say NS time zone. Um, NS time zone, def default time zone. And then from there, you can say application. Application is our UI application. Application, set schedule, local notification, and our NS array will be notification because we only have one notification, but we can have multiple and we just set it to um, this array right here. Oops, I have to say NS array, array with object, Let's see, array with object, and I'm going to say notification because I only have one object here. And then um, that's pretty much it. So run this on your simulator alright so um, okay that's our program let's exit to the background and count to 10 and our notification saying I'm your local app notification will show up so exit count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 oh uh, I counted kind of slow, I guess. All right, we can always do this again. So once you click the notification, it goes back in your app. 
let's try to do a little bit faster let's go five seconds this time then run it on your iPhone simulator one more time All right. one two three four five there's our notification I'm your local notification and our app name right here and then I'm gonna show you one more way how to do this I'm gonna show you how to set like a specific date so you don't have to always start from when your from when your app goes in the background so to do this we can say in this calendar I'm gonna call this great calendar because it's a Gregorian cal calendar so I'm gonna say in this calendar Alec in it with calendar identifier and our calendar identifier is going to be NS Gregorian calendar and from there I'm going to have a NS date component our NS date component I'm going to call it date component and whoops there we go it's going to be a Gregorian calendar Components and our components will be NS year calendar NS year calendar unit. This this thing and then NS month calendar unit. One more pipe and a NS day calendar unit and one more actually two more uh, NS hour calendar unit and NS minute minute calendar unit and from date the date will be NS day and the date will be date all right so that's our date components and from there we have to set all the components that we want so like date component set set year when do we want to send it 2012 date component what month um, let's do it this month I'm in I'm in month 9 September and date component set day the day well today over here is the 28th and I'm gonna go date component set hour right now let's look at our simulator simulator says 408 so the time 4 plus 12 is 16 all right so I'm at I'm at the p.m. I'm at 4 p.m. right now so that's 16 and date component set minute and right now uh, it's on 408 so let's set it for um, let's set it right now it's 409 let's set it for 410 so minute it will be 10 and then I'm gonna say UI date picker DD I'm gonna call it DD UI date picker Alec in it and I'm gonna say DD set date set date and the date will be Gregorian calendar date from components and our components will be our date component alright and from there instead of uh, this line saying set fire date to be here I'm gonna comment it out and I'm gonna say notification set fire date and instead of that it will be DD because DD is our um, actually not DD DD dot date all right, and then let's run it. And at 4:10, oops, actually I missed it by a minute. All right, let's change it to 4:11. Set minute changes to 11. So let's run our iPhone simulator and look at our look at our program. All right, so now we go back out to the to the home screen. We'll do whatever, and then when the time right now gets 4 to 4:11 then your notification saying I'm your local app notification should show up so we can be doing whatever on our phone wait probably like 20 more seconds or so should be 4 11 pretty soon All right.
do something. Okay. And there's our notification, local notification. I'm your app notification. And that was sent at 411. So that's how you that's how you set the time, the date and time that you want to send your notifications. Set your year, your month, your date, your hour, and your minute. Have a UI date picker, and the UI date picker has a date component. So I just do dd dot date, and I'm setting the date with the with my passing the date components to the Gregorian calendar, and then that's our date for our date picker. So that's the end of this tutorial. So in this tutorial, you learn how to how to send um, notification to your users even though your app is not currently running. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.